Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our host for tonight's concert, the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Michael Gilday. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, shipmates. Uh, my wife Linda and I are honored to welcome you here tonight to our United States Navy, your United States Navy Memorial for tonight's concert on the Avenue. As you can already see or already have heard, uh, the band behind us is extraordinarily talented. And during tonight's uh, performance, uh, when they play Anchors Away, if you look at the lone sailor statue, if, if it goes just right, maybe you'll even see him smile. So I'm gonna let Linda brag about the band for a moment, but it's surely nice to have you all here with us this evening. Thanks for being here. Talk about being put on the spot. Well, <laughs> the Navy band is, is really tremendous and they, every single vocalist, every musician is, is tops at what they do. And we see that time and time again at the, every performance that we see and every small event that they have. They're such an ambassador for the United States and all we stand for. And so uh, please, please clap along tonight and sing and dance and have a good time and enjoy their talents. And um, well, do you think, Mike, there would be an award you could give them or anything like that? Yes. What, what, what would that look like? Yeah, let's give an award. Master Chief. Yes, sir. Will the guests please rise? Sir. Military personnel, Can attention I, to award. The Secretary of the Navy takes pleasure in presenting the Meritorious Unit Commendation to the United States Navy Band for service as set forth in the following citation. For meritorious achievement from 1 June 2017 to 12 May 2022, the personnel of the United States Navy Band performed 6,800 performances for 8.1 million people and provided ceremonial and public relations support to the President of the United States, Secretary of the Navy, Chief of Naval Operations, Chief of Information, and the Operating Forces of the Navy. The band positively impacted diplomatic relations with 28 partner nations by providing flawless musical support throughout the National Capital Region for White House events, Pentagon arrivals, and protocol engagements for senior military and government officials. The band performed funeral honors at Arlington National Cemetery for 3,950 shipmates, veterans, and families, including President George H.W. Bush. Five national touring units traveled 38,000 miles across 42 states, delivering Navy messaging to 250,000 people. Expertly programmed performances for professional and educational conferences, television and radio programs, nationally televised sporting events, and a partnership with all 105 historically black colleges and universities ensured engagement with communities in direct support of Navy recruiting goals and diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. In the wake of COVID-19, the band's pivot to online content production ensured continuity of operations and garnered 306 million video views, making the United States Navy Band the most followed military band in the world. The band concurrently executed Echelon 2 oversight, providing superior central management, equipment, and technical support to 10 bands across the globe via fleet band activities. By their distinctive accomplishments, unrelenting perseverance, and unfailing devotion to duty, the officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian employees of the United States Navy Band reflected credit upon themselves and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. For the, tech, for the Secretary, Michael M. Gilday, Admiral, United States Navy. Please be seated.